Lindsay with Readings by Lindsay, and I am here today to give a collective reading, um, just a daily message. Um, this could go out as far as the week. I know I did just give a monthly uh, overview, um, but I want you to take a look at this because this is a little deeper into more of the immediate future and what we have going on. Now, the first thing I picked up when I looked at these three cards was some of you are going to have a lover come into your life. Um, intuition, of course, again, and I said this in my monthly reading, and these two cards here definitely um, confirm it again, especially right now, is going to be heightened. You know, you need to trust your intuition you need to touch your gut trust your gut instincts however the first thing that came up that I felt strongly especially with this king of pentacles coming up is that and with collective readings I don't look at kings or queens as male or female um, I look at them just as a person um, are probably going to have a lover come into your life for some of you this is somebody from your past um, it's a cycle that's gone on and on and over again and over again and over again. And they're going to seem like they can provide you with... The, if you notice, this, there's a lot of dark and like possibly sunrise, sunset here. When I'm looking at it as... I, when I'm looking at it as more of a love type thing, feeling as the sun has sat on this relationship many times, it's a cycle. And this card does represent cycles. We have... Uh, the Six of Pentacles here, and it is, um, this is the Vice Versa Tarot, right here, as you can see. So in this deck, this does, this can represent cycles, and with this being the King of Pentacles, it's somebody that can provide you more of the security and stability that you need, or you're thinking that they can. However, you are going to be, with this moon coming up, you're, the end, you can see this man is in the dark. It's the evening. It's a beautiful evening, but it's still the evening. This is going to die down. You're going to see the truth. The truth will come to the light eventually. You're not seeing the whole picture, and you're not going to be able to see the whole picture just yet. Um... Like, again, like I said, this is a cycle, um, especially if this person is somebody from your past. Um, however, I'm not saying run away because if it is somebody from your past, there are lessons to be learned from this person. Even if there's not, if it's not somebody from your past, there are lessons to be learned. Now, second feeling I'm getting for some of you, this could be a job. Now, this is a little bit different. This isn't as ominous of a feeling. This is actually more of a... Uh, looking like, uh, you know, this could be a dawn on a new era and this could be kind of a fear of losing maybe some security, especially with the pentacles, of your old job to take on a new job. However, right now is a wonderful time to take on a new job. Um, a job offer could come in today or in the next couple days or even in the next week for some of you. And Really follow your intuition, um, even though it could be scary, because your logic is going to probably tell you not to do it, um, because you don't want to lose the security that you have. It's, it's something that you can't go further in, or you um, there's something you don't like about it. There is kind of this feeling that there's a lot of people that are in areas that they just can't go any further. And it seems like now is the time where there's going to be some offers coming through where you are going to be able to come further. And even though you have the security of where you're at, you're going to have the ability to make more money, an offer coming in, to make more money, to move up, you know, move up, um, you know, go further with whatever you have you're not going to be stagnant and there's a lot of people that I think feel stagnant right now in their career and right now is a time of moving forward again now that this moon it's definitely follow your intuition and again with this king of pentacles this is a, 
usually this represents a man that can is stable and has uh, financial security and can provide and can continue providing and can help. Um, and like I said, looking at the six of pentacles, this is a new, this would be a new cycle. Um, you know, starting a new part of your life, a sunrise. We're not looking at the sun setting. We're looking at the sun rising. This isn't so much an end when we're looking at financial. Now, when it comes to the home, I feel like, like, again, I'm going to say, um, you know, if, if, if this is relating to your home or, you know, this could be relating to multiple things. Um, again, I feel like you really need to trust your intuition because there's some secrets. Um, inside your home. Um, I do feel like that there is going to be somebody coming or going in the home, um, which is going to shake security up. Um, however, now this again is not as ominous. Uh, I do feel like, again, this is an ending that's going to create a beginning. So you're still going to be able to make it, you know, something may be missing, something may get taken away, but it's something that no longer serves you. Um, and that is something that, again, you know, don't let your fear get too over involved with it. Um, you know, trust your intuition, know that everything's going to be all right and you're going to be okay. Uh, if we're looking at communication, communication is going to get wonky in the next, you know, it's going to get kind of functified. It's going to get kind of not so great in the next couple of weeks, but that's because when we're looking at communication here, I definitely see somebody that is not being fully honest. And right now you're believing everything and you feel like you're kind of blinded. It's like rose color, color glasses are on. That's eventually going to come out and you're going to see the truth. This doesn't necessarily know. I know that this kind of goes along with what I was talking about with if this could be a lover, but this could be anybody when I'm talking about just communication. This could be anybody in your life. Um, it doesn't have to be somebody in the home. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be somebody that you work with. It, it could be anybody. It could be an acquaintance. But, however, this is going to affect you in a way where you're going to want to get rid of this person and your intuition is going to tell you to do so. Um, just not this week or today, not in the immediate future. It's probably going to be in the coming weeks. Again, trust that intuition because it's going to, again, this person is going to be something that no longer serves you and will leave a place open to draw a more positive energy into your life um, and draw more of what you want into your life. Um, also, there's some, I'm getting something with like a supervisor or overseeing something. Um, somebody's overseeing something, has to oversee something, maybe a project. Um, again, communication could not, might not be too clear. Um, uh, it's like executive decisions have to be made. Like, you know, don't wait for the other person to make a decision. Make the decision yourself because there are some indecisive people out there or indecisive people in your life, uh, Maybe you are the indecisive person, um, and it's just time to make a decision. So um, I hope that, you know, since this is a collective reading, so it can go many different ways, but um, I hope that this gives you guys some guidance in your life, and I'm going to post it. And um, I hope if you don't have, you have not subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would be so appreciative. The more uh, subscribers I get, the more free readings and other things. I'm constantly trying to come up with ideas and I'll constantly be coming, trying to come up with more ideas for free tutorials and things like that to post on this page just the more likes and subscribes that I get. Um, if I'm not getting subscribers, I'm not going to take the time to do these videos, obviously. Um, and, of course, um, 
I know I do have some new subscribers. Um, I do do this professionally. So if you would like a private reading, uh, the information will be posted at the bottom. You can contact me either um, through uh, Facebook. My Facebook page will be at the bottom. Uh, it's facebook.com slash readings by Lindsay. You can contact me through email, affordable psychic at yahoo.com, or you can contact me um, via text, or um, you can give me a call um, if I'm available. If I'm with a client, I will not answer the phone. Um, I'm just warning you. Um, so, and, and my number is 262-577-1794. You do not need to be local. I know a lot of people like face-to-face -face readings. I do do those. Um, I can do those long distance via Skype or uh, Google Duo, or even Facebook Messenger um, offers uh, that. So, I can hook, we can hook up through there, through my personal page as well. Um, I also do the video readings, and video readings are the more affordable kind. Um, a lot of people choose to do them. Uh, single questions are $10. Tarot scopes are a dollar a piece with 10, 10, a 10 minimum. Um, and a general eight card reading is $30. Um, and then specialty readings go, you know, up to usually around $40, $50, um, depending on the, the specialty reading. There's some that take a little bit longer and take me a while to do, so they're a little bit more, but those are also the ones that are in person that are usually like over a hundred to do in person. So, um, it's, you know, it's like, it's the same thing, but you're getting it through a recorded video and you're not sitting in front of me. Um, so I, you know, I offer those too. And that's why my email is affordablepsychic.com because I try to um, provide readings at all levels, especially um, I'm an accredited psychic. I have many diplomas, many certifications. Um, so I... I really try, I'm writing a book right now, um, I'm also um, creating a few classes, a few online courses, so um, I really try to, at the level that I'm at, I really try to make these readings affordable, so I try to offer an array of options, so if you are looking for a good really good, um, and I'm not trying to honk my heart and say, no, I'm a really good psychic, but if you're looking for, trying to look for a good, legitimate psychic reading, uh, personal reading, and you don't have a lot of money, uh, e-readings are probably the way to go for you. Um, if you, you know, I do do, like, live readings start, just a tarot reading, uh, start at $50, so, it, you know, it, even that is not a lot in this business um, by most standards, especially for people at the level that I'm at and, you know, accredited psychics, um, you know, usually charge anywhere from 100 to $250 for the same thing. Um, so I just want to throw that out there. So if you would like a private reading, please feel free to uh, contact me. And please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube page, um, I would appreciate it if you do so. And if you would um, also like to like and follow my Facebook page, I put a lot of useful information on there as well. So have a wonderful day and blessings to all of you and have a wonderful week.